Buenos dias everyone, this is Irv Spanish, and this is a quick look and a quick glance at my Imperfect Past of the Mayans unit. Now, my students have gone through and they're going to be actually working through some of these uh, activities, um, learning about the Mayans and doing some different kinds of things, including some game simulations, some building of some calendars. Uh, and then finally we reach this thing called the Mayans Ruins 3D Replica Epic Quest, and it looks like this and basically what they're doing is they're creating a replica of the ancient city of Chichen Itza. Now many of my students do this in Minecraft EDU. As a teacher you don't really need to know much about Minecraft EDU or Minecraft in order to be able to go ahead and let them do this lesson. You just give them the parameters of course you might be teaching this specific lesson about the Mayans. Uh, if you need any of these materials by the way I could give them all to you uh, so you have an idea about how I go through the process here. But anyway, as far as the Minecraft EDU part, I tell them, I want you to, now that you've studied the ancient Mayans, I want you to recreate the ancient city of Chichen Itza, uh, including the Castillo, the Caracol, El Gran Juego de Pelota. Of course, something about the Mayan alphabet and number system. They do some creative stuff in Minecraft EDU doing this. And I say, you know, in a room or a schoolhouse or in some other creative way. And so anyway, they go through and they start building. Uh, and this is the beginning I believe of one of the worlds from uh, previous year that I had here and you can see they've already started uh, the Castillo over there there's all kinds of different things there's got some crops going over here some people's houses are coming and building over here and uh, yeah they're doing a great job now in Minecraft EDU you have the opportunity to be able to lay out materials like I've done here I've laid out like you can see I have diamond already exposed here if you're if you're used to uh, Minecraft, you you know that you can't really find diamonds at this frequency, so you can lay out heavy blocks of all kinds of different things instantaneously, like big old uh, amounts of them. So that's what I've done so that they could easily uh, be able to build whatever they wanted to build, but still be in uh, survival mode, which is, makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, and then they actually, I think, work better together when it's in survival mode. It's a little bit of a struggle. They have to try to figure some stuff out. Uh, it, it turns out to be more collaborative and more cooperative than two. So anyway, uh, this is a quick, easy uh, lesson as far as to be able to implement by the teacher. And then the students work hard to be able to put this together. Then what I like for them to do is take pictures throughout the creation process. Now they have iPads at my school. They take pictures or little short videos. And then they put them together in iMovie and they create an actual video that they narrate about their creation process. Basically what they've learned in the end and then uh, submit that video to me uh, via Schoology. So anyway, if you're interested in any of these kind of materials, let me know. I can send all of this stuff to you, no problem. Uh, thanks for watching this. Adios, hasta la vista.